The Department of Correctional Services, DCS, says sanctions are to be laid against an inmate following the seizure of contraband in his cell. The department says it was prompted to conduct a raid of cells after receiving reports that popular dancehall artist Vibes Cartel was involved in a live stream on a popular social media platform. Anthony Lug reports. Thursday, March 26, international music producer Tariq Russian Johnston took to social media site Instagram and started a live. Thousands joined, but little did they know they were in for a surprise. An account with the name Vibes Cartel typed, add me, and then... Looking at me, I know, now I got this, you baby. Why? I'm out. Yeah, yo. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, history. The video has since made rounds on several social media sites, sparking several discussions and has led to speculation. One of the reasons, the entertainer has managed to release scores of music despite being behind bars since 2011. He's currently at the St. Catherine Adult Correctional Center. We scrolled through Carter's Instagram page, however, we saw mostly promotional material with scantily clad women dancing to his music. But in a matter of hours, the Department of Correctional Services reported that sanctions are to be laid against an inmate involved in a live stream on a popular social media platform. In a media release on Friday, the DCS said a search of the inmate cell and adjoining cells was carried out and contraband found and removed. It says these actions are taken seriously and efforts are being made to limit a recurrence. But it's not the first time we've seen or heard of phones being found in jails and prisons. In fact, just recently our news center received an amateur video showing a protest by detainees at the Tamron Farm Adult Correctional Center demanding better care. It clearly suggests inmates at that correctional facility had access to smartphones. It also suggests the Department of Corrections has work to do. Anthony Lug, TVJ News.